What's up guys, this is Austin Walton, number 50. I ride for the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna racing team. It's, uh, you know, that's a, it's a big transition, you know, going into Supercross, it's a completely different way to tackle that than you do with this stuff. You know, I've learned a lot in the last, you know, two years of just racing the off-road stuff. And, uh, you know, going and doing Supercross, like I felt like it was the best thing for me to be able to learn how to ride such a technical course where you're, you can't make any mistakes because mistakes are major and that stuff, you know, you get yourself really hurt if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been a plus for me to transition, but, you know, we've changed a lot of stuff up with the off-road because it's, you tackle it in a such a different manner. You know, it's a long moto, you got to conserve your energy sometimes, so always taking the inside corner sometimes it hurts you, you know, for fitness. So um, there's a lot more that you think about with this stuff for how long it is. good um, we went out there and you know suspension was a little soft the tracks really sandy so typically on a sandy track you want to stiffen it up a little bit um, that's just usually generally what I like to do um, so we kind of made some suspension changes made quite a few actually suspension changes and finally got to the point where we went too far with it so uh, we're gonna back it off a little bit and we should be solid for the race so uh, everything went good felt good on the bike the tracks getting beat up it's gonna be gnarly by the time we race it today so Looking forward to grinding my butt off and having some fun out there. You know, one of the first things that comes to mind for me, the biggest thing was I noticed I rode my bike, my practice bike, a lot easier because I was conserving parts, you know, not wanting to just really beat on the bike. And now it's like, all right, my job is to go and ride the bike and get the fullest potential out of my practice and whatever that takes to do, you know, whether I'm over revving the bike. So like I'm practicing on the bike like I would racing and not having to worry about changing parts or conserving parts. You know, it's like whatever I need, if the bike breaks, they just fix it. So I've really been able to get more quality practice um, being on the factory side than I did on the privateer side. And just, you know, the consistency of like a bike that runs primo every single time and if I have anybody that, you know, if I have any questions, like it gets handled immediately instead of me having to go through brother and dad and mom and just kind of like, you know, buying parts and where to buy parts and, you know, keeping up with that, it tends to, you know, wear you out. So uh, that's been a huge gift, you know, just coming to the factory side. Thanks to Osborne. Hooking it up with the, run the same. Yeah, so luckily because of him, he had basically a custom fitted throttle tube for him that's a lot smaller. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to run that. So thanks to him, I'm able to run a grip that, you know, fits my hand a lot better. And I get a lot of crap for it. Everyone thinks that I got these big hands, but I like a, I'm pretty picky when it comes to grip. So that's, that's huge for me. Once I took off, you know, I took off like a madman. I was definitely riding as hard as I possibly could give and uh, made some really good moves and worked my way right into second or third place um, right away. You know, I saw Taylor and Dante and, um, you know, thought I could latch onto those guys and just, you know, tried to find a pace and wasn't able to find a consistent pace and then made a little mistake on the track and uh, put the bike in neutral and just fell over um, going around a right hand turn. And then uh, that's when uh, Zach got by me. And then I just made a hard push and started feeling a second wind and pushed a little too hard in one of the downhill sections and uh, put myself on my head 
bent my bars really bad, you know, wadded myself up pretty good, gave myself a nice little raspberry on the side, and, um, you know, we just basically salvaged the race at that point and finished it. You know, the bike was pretty bent up. It was hard to ride with how gnarly that track was, but, uh, you know, we just finished it out, ready for a new day. It's a long road, so keep your head down, you know, don't ever give up. Like, you're gonna have hard times where, you know, the whole family's involved and it's, it's stressful because they're spending a lot of money on you, but push through it and don't ever give up. Like, you're gonna find the answers if you keep just putting the work in, no matter what. You know, if you're putting the work in, you show up on the weekends and you take dead last. Keep doing the same thing, working hard, and before you know it, you're gonna start making progress and you're gonna know what to do as you start making progress, the, the directions to change and go in and how to you know, tackle a race weekend and just getting comfortable with it. It's, it's a long process. Um, you know, for me, it took me 16 years. So <laughs> it, uh, don't ever give up on yourself, but you guys can do it. Like put it out there too much you know I'm not scared to but you know like my goal is to be the best of my time you know and that's that's setting the standards pretty high because of the people that I'm racing against you know I want to be I want to leave it and be you know like a Kirk Caselli you know guys that left a dent in the sport you know and I want to do it for the right reasons I want to show that you can be a good person and you know and not that nobody has been but I just kind of want to do it my way and uh, you know, if you don't know me, then, you know, kind of start checking my stuff out because I just like to be as humble as possible and, you know, know that anybody around me can come over and say hi. Like, I'm not a scary guy. Like, I'm willing to talk to you. And if you don't see me around, I'm trying to hide from people because I'll wear myself out and talk to you because I like talking to people. Um, but, you know, I want to win as many championships as I possibly can. And, um, you know, like I've been able to have a, a fortunate, you know, coming up through the ranks, not having a ton of injuries. So, you know, the knock on wood, that's been a blessing for me um, so my body's feeling pretty good you know at 21 years old um, but you know I just want to I don't really know exactly how many championships I want to win I haven't really found that number out yet but uh, you know as many as I possibly can Awesome, you know, uh, body's feeling really good. You know, fitness was 
It's gnarly. It wasn't an easy race. Like obviously I felt like I was running pretty hard, high heart rates out there. Um, but just being able to sustain and uh, you know Taylor was running a hard race and he kept me honest the first part and I was trying to groove and just couldn't really find like the fastest pace possible or fa my fastest pace until later in the race and you know I was once I settled in and find just smoother lines trying to find you know what was good out there because the track was so beat up I mean I wouldn't really say there was anything smooth out there but uh, you know I felt really good and I uh, was you know happy with just being able to just come up with that win you know start to finish full shot all the way to the end first place so that doesn't feel any better than that you know perfect perfect day